Hi, palettes, pouts, perfumes and panning. And I'm here with my 2021 Calendar Girl Challenge on my Facebook group, Project Panning for Beginners. So we've each chosen a month. It will be most likely the person's birth month, but if they want to choose someone else's birth month, that's fine too. And star signs, flowers related to the birth month, celebrities, films, songs, anything at all related to your birth month, gemstones, colours, whatever it is. Anything is acceptable and like... I was saying mine is February, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to be panning in 2021 on the Calendar Girls Challenge with the project panning for beginners. So the first thing I'm going to be panning is a NYX pencil and it is a deep purple. And that is because Amethyst is the February birthstone. So um, that's why I'm using the purple. And continuing on the purple note, I'm using, I'm going to pan that little Amethyst shadow. And it's called Fairy Dust and it's Gretchen Roth, Rossi. I don't know whether it can be gotten anymore. I have it quite a while, so I'm gonna pan that. I'll give you a little swatch of it before I close it up. Quite nice. There's a little fairy dust through it. And that's the next. And the third thing is a Inglot Aubergine Gel Liner. Continuing on the purple tone for February. And also Clinique Single Eyeshadow in the shade Rock. Violet, and I'm panning this because I'm going to say Violet, Elizabeth Taylor's birthday was in February also and she had violet eyes so that's what I'm using the link to the February panning challenge on this one and it's a full there's absolutely no pan hitting it practically full so that single clinic and I have some more purples this is a physician's formula shimmer brick and I found it was very awkward to use because to use it as a shadow you have to be very precise because the little dips between the palette, the shades are very small. And I mean, what else can you use it for? You can't really use it for a highlighter because there's a couple of dark shades in there. You can't use it for a bronzer or a blush. So it has to be specifically used for the eyes and it is a bit tedious to be honest to use it for the eyes but I'm going to try my best to see how I get along with it. Maybe mix a couple of the shades together and use them in the crease, the dark ones and then the lighter ones on the brow bone. And they're all shimmer. So there's that. And the last things or item I'm panning is I'm going to pan three Elizabeth Taylor perfumes and I'm going with it because like I said Elizabeth's birthday is in February but also red for Valentine's Day 
So I have three. One. Is that much? Two. Wait, that much, which is practically full. And the third one has that much. And the name of the fragrance is Forever Elizabeth. So, if we count these as one item, that's one item. Three files of Forever Elizabeth. The Physician's Formula. The NYX Pencil. The Inglot Gel Liner. And the two shadows. The Clinique and the Gretchen. So that's my little calendar girl. The start of it anyhow. If I do happen to use, I'll probably use this one up and this one up the first and maybe the fragrance, those go, I will put something else in and continue on until next year. So that's the challenge. There are my items and let's see how I get on. And if you're interested in joining in with our little Facebook group, come over to Facebook and it's Project Planning for Beginners. Thank you.